Happy New Year to ya. Happy New Year. All right. Welcome back to my channel. It's Candace the MUA. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season um, and New Year, and it's time to smash those goals. Well, I got a request for uh, a quick, I'm gonna call it a hair tutorial, wig tutorial. Um, I had a couple friends, they saw my hair, it looked a little raggedy because I did it hours ago, but they wanted to know how I did this. I just wanted to put a real quick tutorial together because I often get asked how I style my wigs, girl. So I wanted to show y'all. Okay, so the brand is Sensational. I hope you can see that. The brand is Sensational and they make these textured wigs. The one that I'm holding is a lace front, uh, the Curls and Kinks line. And so they make half wigs as well as lace fronts. This one is called Game Changer. Um, that's not the one I'm wearing, but I still wanted you to get a feel for the like the idea how they package and present these. I, I will link the name of this one. I got it for $12 from ebonyline.com. Ebonyline.com. And that's typically where I order my wigs from. I'm not affiliated with them at all. I pay with money to order wigs. Oh hey, pleasure seeing you here. I'm starting with a wig cap on. I just have a black wig cap on. My hair, I do not, I do not know how to cornrow, so my hair is literally flat twisted down the back. And I have just a little bit of the outside exposed here, as you can see. Nothing too crazy there. So I have the wig. Like I said, I'm gonna link the exact name below, but she's still part of that whole family of curly wigs. Um, she, I think she's called Rule Breaker. The other one's called Game Changer. And my wig has been through some things, girl. She's a little old. So this is what you can, you can do that with this wig or any of your more seasoned wigs that are curly that have seen better days, girl. Um, that kind of just, they look a little rugged. They look a little worn, look a little tattered, but that's okay because it's just hair. I'm gonna take the front and pop the wig on right where the wig cap is, and then put on the back. So as you can see, she's doing a lot. She's very big. And you can actually wear her like this, but it's just a lot for me. Um, which honestly, I might, I might actually wear her like this tomorrow. You know, I'm not going to leave this part right here. You can always, if you're not, if you don't want to leave your hair out, um, this color is actually a little bit too light for me. I'm a 1B, but this color is a 2, which is all I had left. So you can easily just put a little headband on and it looks just as good with the headband. But what I'm going to do is stretch it out just a little bit because you know how sometimes when the wigs be old they don't stretch no more girl the curl be so that's that's truthfully one way you can wear the unit um pretty straightforward i have not cut her restyled her or anything because i feel like child so in order to do a quick i gotta get groceries type of updo all you need is a scarf just a long scarf it can be long and thin i don't know the um the dimensions of this but as you can see on camera second thing you want to do is have um, some rubber bands and the reason why I'm using rubber bands I don't this isn't my hair I don't care if it gets snagged or if it breaks it's, it's a it's a close all the way save save your complaining so so I'm just going to pull all the hair up to the top of my head can you see me? Can you see me? Do you see me? So I literally have the whole wig in my hand as if I'm going to do a ponytail, which I am. <laughs> which I am. Which I am. Actually, before I continue with the rubber bands, I'm actually gonna take um, two hair ties. Right here and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my one little ponytail with a hair tie I'm only gonna wrap it once maybe twice I don't know depending on if it can make it um, 
I'm only gonna do it once. So now, you know, some people will leave the house like this. I, 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 I don't recommend that. I don't recommend that. Um, but now that you have the ponytail situation going, what you wanna do is just get rid of them rubber bands for a second. Take the front of the ponytail. You see how you've got a pony and it's coming forward like a, like a pineapple. Truthfully, this is the, the start of the style. So you're gonna take your little pineapple and then I want to take just a little bit of hair off the front of my pony. Granted, it's probably tangled because the hair is old. So y'all bear with me. I haven't done this on camera yet. I don't know what it's gonna look like, girl. Don't worry about it. I think I want to leave this much hair out. So it looks a little crazy, but just but trust me, trust me, it's gonna work. So I have I basically separated out a little bit of hair from the main ponytail, right? Can y'all see that? Shut that down. So I've, I've separated some hair out of the main pony. <laughs> and now I have my scarf and it's gonna come together, y'all. Just wait. I'm taking my scarf, flattened out, back of the head, back of the head, back of the head. Don't worry about it, it'll look crazy, we're gonna fix it. And I'm taking it up right where I created that division between the ponytail and my little faux um, bangs. I'm going to create, I'm gonna tie it. Great, dang, this is tough to do. Okay, okay. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so I'm gonna tie it once. You don't have to, you could tie it twice. I'm gonna go ahead and tie it twice. for just a second and now I'm gonna go up the back and pull the scarf up as you see there's a big lump right there that's where the rubber bands come in play you can do a lot of pinning I ain't got the girl listen I'm not doing all that so take my little rubber bands and grab the hair once more as if I'm trying to make another pony and I'm going to make a little bun Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Now, just tuck the ends of the scarf underneath. Tuck the ends. some water for these raggedy ends or tuck them behind your ear but some of them they don't need this is disrespect don't even about it like I said this is a this wig has been worn a few times so it's not the freshest this look always I think it looks a lot better with I think it looks better with a newer wig I don't know it can look good with an old one too you just kind of have to work with the curls like wet your curls and like just play with them to get them to do what you want them to do. This looks completely different than my intro because because I styled my hair after the intro. That's why you supposed to do intros last. But oh yeah. Okay. And then you can make your bun as big or as little as you want it to be. But that's basically it. That's basically the style, y'all. And this is quick. You can wear this to work. You can wear this down the street. You can wear this to the pool party. Um, you can pretty much wear it anywhere because it's just a it's just a 
it's just an updo of some sort with a half weight and then your edges are covered which I think mine are your edges are covered you get this like faux bang situation going on you also could you can put you could put the bangs to the side if you're into that you could put them all to one side if you want to like a side bang I think I did that one time I think I kind of like had I think I had everything kind of flowing to one side and I like that look too I thought that was kind of cute kind of group actually or you can like kind of flatten it and tuck it and like bobby pin it so it's a little bit more flat if you don't want all that hair like in your face you can flatten out your bang I mean, you can do a lot of different things girl but i mean wear it to that side girl you can wear it to this side um just be careful with your edges and you know lay them down whatever whatever you like to do or you can just do a messy metal one um or do whatever or if you want you can basically pull everything up and like don't ever don't create that separation that we did before just have the one um Y'all get the point, okay? Listen, yep, if you knew what time I was filming, I was filming, you would tell me to go to bed. But I just wanted to do this really quickly, um, mainly because I was sad. I, I was gonna use my camera breaking as an excuse for not filming. I broke my camera lens by dropping it and I have things that I need to film and so I'm using my phone and I'm a little bit upset about that. Actually, I'm not upset about that. I would have rather not be using my phone. But you know, life goes on. You got goals, you gotta meet them jokes anyway. So <laughs> I hope that this made sense to you. I hope that you're able to like style your wig and like, and have a good time with it. Um, Please don't judge direct direction. This is how my bangs look. I just wanted to, you know, kind of get this across really quickly. I would probably play with it a little bit more um you know maybe cut it a little bit you know just do whatever you want to kind of get it to fall and fit and flow the way that like makes the most sense for your face and for your style so this is kind of how i was wearing it earlier today and i went and like ran errands and like went shopping and stuff and i felt cute you know i felt like this was my real hair girl because you know my real hair would no my real hair could never okay I will show y'all that in another video. We'll talk about natural hair and my struggles um, with my very, very textured, very, very kinky hair, which is why I wear wigs most of the time anyway, because of the energy and time it go, that goes into taking care of my hair. But I hope y'all enjoyed my little video, my little quick video. Um, let me know what else you want to see. Um, like I said, YouTube's still new to me. I'm about a month in the game here. So, y'all, let me know what you want to see. Send me ideas, uh, content um, that you want to see. And like and subscribe. And catch you on my next video. Bye.